Hello and welcome to the channel. Incredibly excited to speak to you guys today about the new board from Asadec, if I'm pronouncing that correct. And I'm excited about this one for two reasons. Number one, I think this board has the potential to be one of my favorite boards. And then secondly, this is my very, very first four wheel drive electric skateboard. So you know I'm excited. So let's just go ahead and open her up and see what we have on the inside. Uh, first things first, this, box, this board came in a box within a box and I love that. Now look at this here. What is this? Oh shoot, it's like a um, it's like a mat. It's um similar to like uh, I guess how some people have like gun mats, and so when you're working on your board or whatever, you can sit this down and sit your board on top of it and not scratch your desk or whatever the case may be. That's hot, yo. Hey, that's definitely a first. I have never ever seen anything like that come packaged so definitely amazing and good stuff right there so let's fold it up they already started off on a good note boom so let's sit that here fold it up kind of get it out the way and open it up packaging continues to look impressive and here we have the board good looking board right so we have it in the plastic wrap and it's in the foam looks good so let's just try to take it out Beast mode. Oh, oh. Good thing I've been hitting the gym. <laughs> Good thing I've been hitting the gym. And we'll come back to the board in just a second. You know how I like to do it. I like to get all the accessories and stuff out the way. So we're gonna do that first and then we'll come back to the board, which is beautiful. Uh, let's get this packaging out of the way as well. And this is when we can see some of the other components that we have. So we have our belts, extra belts. That looks like two, looks like four belts. So that's pretty solid right there. And I guess you would need that because we're dealing with a four wheel drive board. Um, this looks like our port uh, for to plug in or for our charger. And it looks like they give us multiple types because depending on where you're shipping. So like if you're in Europe or if you're in the States or whatever, you have the different prong options there. That's cool. And then they give us um, these as well are Allen key sets. You can never have enough of the Allen key sets. Good stuff. And this is our charger right here. I like this. I see a fan on here. I am a fan when we have these on there. I'm a fan of fans. <laughs> it keeps your charger nice and cool. And it looks like we have a three amp charger, which is not bad, not too small, not too large. Kind of Goldilocks, just right, right? how she likes her porridge and stuff. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, of course, we got our remote charger. Good stuff. Let's see what we have in here. There's no, nothing there, nothing inside of here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. That's cool there. And then of course, it looks like we have our instruction manual. This feels really good. Um, I like the way this feels here. Feels very nice. Um, all of it feels good. Definitely trying to give you that premium experience. Um, very nice stuff. I'll probably look over this later because it's my understanding that you can tweak multiple settings in the board, um, breaking and different things like that. So this is probably one of the few boards that I'm actually gonna read the instructions on. And before we move on to the board, I wanna quickly show you guys the accessory kit. So just stay over there. So we also have our accessory kit and this comes boxed within a box as well. And it looks amazing as well. And when you look at it, wow, somebody got some crazy, crazy sound system. <laughs> and when you look at it, we get a spare set of uh, wheels slash tires and dang, they gave us more belts. So belts galore. And these belts might go, these look smaller. These belts probably go with these smaller wheels here if you're gonna use those. So we have that, and then it looks like we have the pulleys that would be necessary for these wheels here. So let me go ahead and take one of them out. And these wheels, God, this packaging is really good. Like everything is safe, it's hard to get it out. But the wheels um, look amazing um, as well. Can't wait to try those out. So this will probably give you a little bit more range than these particular wheels here. And then what is this here? Okay, nice, some additional grip tape. I won't unroll it. And then it looks like we get a set of shred lights. You guys know I'm a fan of shred lights. 
um i've done many videos on the shred lights from the sf fx ones the 1000s to the uh these look like the what are these what are these okay the new ones the 300s 300 lumen ones which are really nice and i have a full flash review on the channel of these already um you can check those out and we have a second set so one is probably for the rear yep so we got the red ones here for the rear and then let's look real quick what this one says white for the front so we got our shred lights definitely in the house and don't forget to use my discount code <laughs> if you're going to get some shred lights so let's just go ahead and um let's just go ahead and get the board up here wow amazing looking absolutely amazing okay let's see how we're gonna do this and you see this little mat is probably gonna come in handy here to help protect my new board uh let's see how we're gonna sit this let's <laughs> maybe do it like that let's see if it'll sit up here and wow that is an absolute beauty a beauty right here <laughs> i mean absolutely amazing craftsmanship wow looks really good so we're looking here got our motors here looks very nice <laughs> good looking stuff then let's let's kind of feel the we got a, a concave here and then we also have uh kind of flares up here on the outer edges as well so that should kind of help us get locked in a little bit um, which is very cool and then of course we're dealing with four wheel drive so of course that means we're gonna have four motors. So, very nice. So now let's take a minute to just look at the wheels. Very nice as well. I mean, this is just a good looking board. Let's take a little look at the bottom. Just a good looking board. I mean, let me go ahead and turn her over so that we can get a look at the bottom of the board. Nice. Nice. Let me just turn it over for a second so we could uh, get a look at the undercarriage a little bit. Ugh, be gentle with her. Wow, look at that. I think these are CNC'd um, trucks. I think they're CNC'd. The craftsmanship looks really good like really good and let's take a quick look here okay looks like we're dealing with tkp trucks and you know i can't wait to ride it to see because double kingpin to me when you talk about boards that are reaching these top speeds like this i just don't think double kingpin is the the best option for boards that can reach this type of speed so let me go ahead and find a remote and turn her on so we have our remote now, um, feels pretty good in hand. Um, let's turn the, the remote on and then I guess turn the board on. I don't know where to turn it on at though. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's at the bottom. Okay, so I have to turn it on on both sides because I'm dealing with, I guess, four wheel drive right now. So both of them just came on and then let's try to get a close look at the remote so you can see the telemetry display a little bit. So it's showing that the board has, looks like, um, it's not really labeled which one is the board and which one is the remote. But anyway, let's, so that one's moving, make sure nothing's touching. Okay, okay. Now let me bump it up into a different speed mode. Okay, so we have E, S, S plus, L. So low, maybe equal. Oh, sh Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I want to mess up my mat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so let's see. Let's 
Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> I guess we got a parking lot over here. I guess I'll do a little bit of just riding in the parking lot for a quick second. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. Let's take it for a little spin. I'm trying to figure out which mode is kind of like the more chill mode. I'm gonna try E real quick. Huh, this is interesting. So trying to figure out which way is the direction it's supposed to go, um, cause I'm looking at four motors, but the logo has like an A triangle and it's facing that way. So I think, yeah, that's the way it should go. So that might help some people remember or figure out which way it should go. Because when you're up top, there's like a part of the logo is like a triangular shape A and it's facing the direction the boy should be going. So let me just stand on it, see how it feels. Oh yeah, these trucks are probably way too loose for my liking right now. So I know I'm gonna definitely have to tighten that. The thing that I like about this board by being a TKP truck is that I should be able to easily, um, should be able to easily adjust the, uh, adjust the trucks. So let me try to pick her up and get her over here. Let's try to adjust them. So let's come here and let's tighten her up. And you see, sometimes when you have double kingpin trucks, it's challenging to do this because you'll be able to use a skate tool to reach one of them, but then the other one the other nut, you can't reach it because they're too close. I don't know if I tighten that too much or too little. Dang, I'm on the verge of tightening it too much. So let's let's see. All right. Okay. So I'm just trying to get it a little bit tighter so I can feel a little bit more stable. I'll probably really dial her in later, but right now I just wanna see what it feels like to ride it a little bit in the streets. Acceleration smooth. You could definitely feel the power. Whoa, the brakes were crazy. Um, <laughs> it's my understanding that you can adjust the brakes. You can definitely feel the power. Um, it's definitely there. Um, probably the thing that I'm gonna have to do, the thing I'm gonna have to do is really dial these trucks in because when I'm standing on it, it's turning a lot. And then these wheels are pretty big. So it has a very high center of gravity right now. So, pretty cool. Let's just give it another shot, I guess. Huh. <laughs> it's so interesting. It's, it's interesting because I've never had a um, board with four wheel drive, right? So I'm accustomed that when I'm braking, I feel it more in the back. But here I can feel, it's weird because you feel the braking everywhere. But that's the unboxing, I like it. <laughs> I can't wait to dial the trucks in so I could really ride her and see what she's all about. She's pretty full, so I, I'll probably like sneak out a ride tonight with her. So put your questions below if you have any questions about the board. Of course, I will put this board through its paces, but leave a comment below. What do you want me 
to focus on what do you want to hear from me um, because I plan on riding this board with these wheels here and then also the smaller wheels as well and just having a good time with it so that you guys can make a decision if this is the right board for you as always I will see you at the top because the bottom is too crowded peace Hello, my name's Jam and this is my dad, Patrick. And today we're talking about our new book, The Adventures of Little Jam and the Electric Skateboards. It's a really fun book about our journey of learning how to ride electric skateboards, choosing the right electric skateboard and gaining a community that we never thought that we would. The book features QR codes that allow readers to have an immersive experience as well. You can purchase all of our books on Amazon or Barnes and Nobles online and other book retailers. As always, we'll see you on the top because the bomb's too crowded. Peace. Peace.